And we're going to do a draft. And each one of us is going to end up with three players each. And the category is fastest players in NFL history. We'll then toss it to Twitter. You will tell us who has the best team, who we left off. And because, well, she woke up at 2 a.m. and commuted to the SoFi Stadium studio, Rachel Bonetta will get the first pick. And then we will go D'Angelo, Adam Rank, then myself, and we'll go snake style. I'll double up and we'll go backwards. But Rachel, why don't you kick us off? The fastest player in NFL history. You have the first pick. Who you got? D'Angelo wanted to uh, trade for this pick. D'Angelo, you're going <laughs> to offer me anything good or no? I am going, obviously, Tyreek Hill. The man's nickname is mm. the Cheetah, okay? He has been consistently the fastest player in the NFL since Next Gen Stats even started. He is on an entirely different plane than everybody else in the league right now. I am so excited to see what he does this year. He is quick. That is my pick. D. Hall, All right, you're up. Rachel, I see. I see. You know what? Go ahead and start my clock. I might even have to do a little something, something just to mess with y'all. Oh, no. You, you know, <laughs> since you're going <laughs> offense and receiver, I'm going to go. I might take all defensive guys because I know we oh. get it done. But, you know, I'm talking a little too much. My first pick is going to go to Daryl Green. Let's get it. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Be my first leg. I don't even need to say nothing but Daryl Green. Everybody know how fast he is. Go ahead. Who's next? <laughs> I'm going to be next. Um, Adam, got? I'm going to say my pick immediately. Devin Hester. And I'm going to use the rest of my time to address the Hall of Fame voters because it is an absolute disgrace that you did not put the greatest return man of all time into the Hall of Fame. And I want you to rectify that this season. He deserves to be. He is a game changer. Like he almost single handedly won a Super Bowl for the Bears. OK, from this special team spot. People feared him. So give me Devin Hester. It's a good use of your 20 seconds. I will not need my full 40. I am so happy to have two picks right here. And these two players should go hand in hand because they did things that very few human beings have ever done. They played baseball and football. I want them both. With my first pick, I will oh. take prime. Give me Deion Sanders with my first, first round pick here. And then with my second round pick, you can start the clock again. Give me the single greatest athlete to ever step on a gridiron. Oh. Give me Bo Jackson. I've got Deion Sanders Whoa. and Bo Jackson on my team. Let's Not go out fair. there. The rumor is that Bo Jackson ran a 4-2-9-40. That's what they said in his 30 for 30. I don't know. There he was no combine back then. There's no real <laughs> clock, but I will take it. Before the hip injury, Bo and Deion rank. Come on, I can't go wrong here. You, you can't go on <laughs> both of those picks. And we since lost. we're gonna throw this out, since we're gonna throw this out to Twitter, I'm gonna I'm gonna play to my hometown crowd. I'm gonna be like CM Punk trying to just I'm just gonna try to win Chicago and not worry about anything else. So I'm gonna take Willie Galt, who was a Olympic qualifier, nice. would have been in the Olympics. I think that there was the the boycott or whatever, but clearly one of the fastest guys, one of the most overlooked guys from that 85 Bears team, which by the way was uh, the top offense as well. I know their defense was great, but their offense was good as well. All right, all right. I like that one. I like that one. That was a sleeper pick, but he definitely got some speed. Uh, by the way, Daryl Green actually beat Carl Lewis in a race in high school, so go check that. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's how okay. fast he is. <laughs> but also, I'm going to I'm, I'm go back. So this pick, I'm going with Allen Rossum, 2001 NFL fastest man. Dude can move. Wow. Go check the film. Returner wow. as well. 10.0100 meters in high school. Qualify for the Olympics. I'm sorry. Ne go, go ahead. Somebody else can go. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, two points. Shrag's already mic. won. Shrag's already won this, so I'm just going to pick guys that I like. No, I didn't. Uh, no, he I'm didn't. Going... No, he did. He did. Uh, I'm going Raheem Mostert. <laughs> Listen, okay? He missed all, most of okay. last season with a knee injury. Okay, I know that. Uh, but let's not forget what he has shown us before. According to NFL Next Gen Stats, Raheem Mostert is the fastest player in the 2020 season. He had an 80 and 76 yard touchdown, 23 and 22 miles per hour, week one and two. Just right off the bat, he was speedy. Okay, so that's, am I the next pick as well? I'm also going yes. Jonathan <laughs> Taylor. Love JT. <laughs> what? You don't always think speed. You don't always think speed with, uh, with Jonathan Taylor. 
because he's a powerful runner, but he gave us three out of the top five fastest touchdowns this past year. I'm going JT. I just want guys that I like, okay? This is my team. <laughs> Nobody judge it, except for Twitter. Okay, okay. And I might have been wrong. I said 2001 NFL's fastest man for Allen Rossum. He's actually 2000. Four NFL's fastest man, and my next pick is going to be. Small. He's the he was 2005 NFL's fastest man, and that's yours truly. Come on, man. If, if, <laughs> if you talk about fast guys, I I have to put myself in it. I was recorded at a 415. I, got the, <laughs> I love got it. The record at Virginia Tech beat Michael Vick. You know, I only got a 431 at the combine because I wasn't supposed to run, but I ran anyway. I shouldn't have ran, but you know, neither here nor there. So I'm the last leg there. <laughs> Very Adam. modest. We're all, just, Adam. we're all going. Su- I know. We're all just going super personal. I'm leaning all the way into this. Uh, I could have gone bullet Bob Hayes, uh, Calvin Brandt, or Clifford Branch, excuse me, uh, would have been a great choice as well. Why? Well, listen, I'm going to go Team Chicago. I'll just throw Walter Payton in there. I know that the Bears fans, they're not used to a Bears fan being on this show. So I want them to all lean into this and support my team, whether you believe it or not. And just vote for me on Twitter. I don't know if you're being ironic or not. Kay Adams reps the was, Bengals, was, the Chargers, the Saints. I'm just listen, Kyle I'm represents just, the I'm, Bills. Kyle's literally I'm, like wearing a Bills hat and and at the draft. So Adam, it's nice to see an actual Chicago Bears fan in that box <laughs> on this show. I'm gonna wrap this up with uh, Ronaldo Skeets Nehemiah. Oh, Give me Skeets Nehemiah. Whoa. If you're unaware, he is the 110 uh, male hurdles champion. Former world record holder, the first man to ever run the 110 hurdles in under 13 seconds. Played for the 49ers. Google Skeets Nehemiah Zurich, 1981. (laughs) One of the greatest track performances we've ever seen. Yes, we're talking Zurich, 1981 here on Good Morning Football. (laughs) Let's see. Let's see the full screen who we got here. Let's look at the attack. Come on, baby. Wow. (laughs) This is great. D'Angelo, Alan Rossum up this morning texting you. What do we got? <laughs> I love that I don't think he up, but I'm going to show let him know, like, hey, man, back in the day, we used to have, like, fake races in our minds, and our 4 by fun was me. Our 4 by 14 was me, Rossum, Mike Vick, and Ward Dunn, and we thought we could take on anybody in the league in, in, that, in those days. <laughs> they need to bring back a Rachel, superstars type competition. <laughs> we do. Rachel, you leaned hard into the current day player, but also the Amazon stats and numbers. I say it with this voice because I feel like a robot. Um, are you happy with your picks? I am happy with my picks. Bring it on Twitter. What a boss move that D Hall was just able to choose himself. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a ball move. Adam, take us home. You went all Chicago. It's happy days for Bears fans that you did this. Listen, I listen like how Bret Hart used to appeal to the Canadian audiences in the WWE in the 1990s. I'm doing the same thing here. I'm playing to the base. I'm going with the hometown crowd. I might not be over in Tennessee or or or, or Tampa Bay or whatever, but in Chicago, the huge pop hits, and I think they're going to pull me home. And uh, when we throw <laughs> this to Twitter, there you go. Play the hits.